Onye, onye lete ya, era nanti bi ya, onye le ya te ya oma muye. Osumba deni ya deba yi oma aro o le le ya te reke yoda. Oma te jma jobi one te o, osum karo mi yoda. Otumba Richard Adini Adebayo was born in Lagos on February 4th, 1958, into the aristocratic family of Major General Adeyinka Adebayo of Inyekiti and Princess Felicia Adeola Halade of Awekiti, Ekiti State, Nigeria. He attended Corona School, Yaba, Lagos for his primary education, then proceeded to the famous CMS Grammar School, Bariga, Lagos and then to Davis tutors for his A-levels in Sussex, England. He returned to Nigeria to attend the prestigious University of Lagos, where he obtained his bachelor's in law with honours and was called to the bar in 1982. He did his NYSC at the Nigerian Legal Aid Council, Lagos, and went on to work at Arthur Vigo and Company Legal Practitioners, with a stint as a lecturer at Coopers and Lybrand Training School for ICANN. He became a partner at the law firm of Adibayo Williams and Mohammed, and also Adibayo Adeumi Anabudu, George Ikoli Anokagwe, before setting up his own law firm of Adibayo and Adibayo and Company. Though Otumba married his childhood heartthrob and besto Irilu Angela at the tender age of 25, theirs has remained a special love story, spanning 34 years of marriage and 40 years of friendship. I met Richard. Adebayo when we were in primary school in Corona and this was in the 60s. We were in the same class and we were friends actually in primary school. My friend Dio reminds me that he was actually a nuisance. Um, we were bigger than him and he used to pull our hair and became much closer. We were, to use the word they use now, we were dating. We finally decided to get married when we were both working. We were both uh, at this time 25 which has produced three well-grounded and lovely children, Murenike, Adid Doton, and Samantha, along with the new addition, Mrs. Murenike Adibayo, Ni Young. When I was four years old and an aunt asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up. And I remember that I told her, as proud as I could possibly be, I said, I want to be a lawyer just like my daddy. I don't even think I really knew what a lawyer was at that point. I just knew that I wanted to be like my daddy because even then I realized that he was and is, going to, is such a great man. And I remember that all through the years, he's always been there, he's always been supportive, he's always been somebody who really has helped me achieve all of my dreams. I remember when I graduated from university, my dad came, so many people. I actually think I had the most guests um, in the crowd than anybody else that graduated that day. I know that my father is a very, very great man. I am proud to be his daughter. I'm very proud to be following in his footsteps. And I just want to say to him, on this day, his 60th birthday, very, very happy birthday, Daddy. I love you. You've always been someone I could look up to. You've always guided me through life, whether it's in school or work, getting married. I know in starting a family, I can always look to you and follow your great example. And I'll always be grateful to you for that. Um, even my hobbies, like I got into football because of you. I remember the year or two that I dabbled with golf. That was, that was also because of you. Rennie was reminding me about some of the stories I told her, like some of my childhood when we were in Ekiti and the adventures you would take me on, whether it was campaigning with you, going to boxing tournaments, playing in charity football matches. You always included me and I, it was great seeing you through the eyes of the Ekiti people. They were always proud moments for me and I was very grateful for you for taking me along. I remember recently I had to do an online application for something and I was asked security questions and one of the questions was who is your hero and my answer was simple three letter word dad so thank you dad and god bless and happy birthday I look back at the first few times I met you and I always felt so special you always made me feel so special and so welcome um, I always felt your warm energy and seeing you and Dalton together was always a really beautiful thing for me because I, you know, we always think that you guys look alike and it's just nice to see your bond with, with Dalton. And that is also very special for me because it makes me feel like I have a bond with you and I'm truly grateful for all the support you've shown us. You've been a great example in our family and um, I actually remember, you know, bumping into you at church and 
seeing you around you always made me feel so happy to see you i just wish you an amazing birthday and thank you for showing us your fatherly love at all times it means so much to us i just pray god blesses you with many more happy years my dad is my best friend he's someone that's always been there for me through anything and someone who always understands me i can talk to him about anything and he's also very fun to be around, always the life of the party. Happy birthday, Daddy. Many more years. Love you. We have always been a very close couple. We talk every day. And Inekitis was even closer because I think I was the only person that I could really share his real feelings. We came back from Ekiti, but it's in his typical Otuba fashion. That was part of it. He doesn't look back. Immediately, he swings into something else. And we had another. Otuba now, this is Otuba the politician, elderly statesman, Otuba the businessman par excellence. He's always positive and I think a lot of this is based on his strong Anglican faith. So I think um, that also contributes to the kind of character he has and in his family he's very very well loved. I said to the children we have to have a meeting with daddy and everybody has to come for the meeting you know where we're all going to talk and one of my children said okay this is the meeting where daddy says this is it and we say yes daddy and i say yes that's the meeting and that's why the children call him neo for those of you who watch matrix neo he's the one so that's what he is to us in the family also to god be all the glory we celebrated the life of general adebayo also had said he didn't want anything for this birthday that we should just go away and I feel so honored and privileged that his friends actually reached out and organized to celebrate him. I give God all the glory that what I see in him, other people see in him as well. I really appreciate what his friends and family, relatives, political associates have put together for him. We've gone through our own valleys as well. I know that something that affected my husband, that he can, he, it can never ever be the same, is the loss of Dakbo. Every day, I pray that the peace of the Lord that passes all understanding will also be his in this area of his life as well. That's something that as a family is a loss that we all share and always taints everything that we do. But in everything, we still continue to thank God. Today, he is the anchor of the Adebayo clan. I remember me in Corona as my baby brother that I always had to take care of. And lately, it looks as if he's taking care of me. It's the other way around. I thank God for his life. Ni, I wish you all the best. Many more years of happiness and good health. I love you. Happy birthday. Otumba Ni Adebayo, big bro, big bro, big bro. You are a big brother. Uh, we appreciate you. Uh, we want to wish you a happy birthday, long life, prosperity, good health and every other thing you wish yourself. When I started my professional life 20, 25 years ago, and I used to go to meetings, after the pleasantries, the meeting, they would come to me and say, are you Jan Adebayo's son? And I will say, yes. And a lot of pleasantries would be said about my father. 20, 25 years later, similar sort of meetings, and they would ask me, are you Otumbani Adebayo's brother? Similar pleasantries are also uttered, which gives me great joy and pride because he has achieved so much and we are all very, very proud of him. Happy birthday, my dear brother. The glue that keeps his extended and immediate family together, as was visible during the burial of his dad, Major General Robert Adeyinka Adebayo, Thank you very, very thank you to Mr. President, Mr. Acting President, the Deep in the Entire Government, the Federal Republic of Nigeria, for the honor of the Lord our Father today. Today is a very happy day for me, my darling son. I'm happy to see your birthday today, 60th. I remember when you were at Corona School and you wrote an essay. The title of the essay is My Ambition in Life. 
And the conclusion of that essay was that I will be one of the people that will rebuild Nigeria. When your teachers read the essay, they pasted it on the board outside for all the parents to see. I thought my son can speak English. <laughs> I see that you have fulfilled your promise. I'm so happy for you. Your prophecy has come true in your life. I wish you many, many happy returns, long life, good health. I pray to my God to lead you and guide you in everything you lay your hands upon. And I seize this opportunity to thank you for the love you have shown with your brothers and sisters. You made everybody comfortable in the family and God will help you to do more. Happy birthday, my darling son. With the return to democratic rule in 1999, Otumba Adebayo's foray into politics began when he contested for the governorship of his state under the Alliance for Democracy Party, emerging as the first executive governor of the state. The Otumba himself, yes, Yes, people, rousing welcome, rousing welcome, rousing welcome for the Otumba Adeni Adebayo. This is serious. This is memorable. This is memorable. This is memorable. The Otumba himself, being welcome by the good people of Ekiti State. Yes, the God-chosen one, the people's choice. Yes. Yes, Otumba Adeni Adebayo, first executive governor of Ekiti State. A dream he always had and shared, as attested to by the love of his life, his wife Irelu Angela Adebayo, Nida Silva. He had always told me that he loves Ekiti. He told me that if Ekiti was his own state. He would like to be the governor of that state. And at that time, I never thought Ekiti was going to be a state. This tenure recorded major transformation of Ekiti state with its meager resources. He was able to pay the minimum wage salaries of teachers in the state, increasing it on occasions, while building a new administrative block for the state hospitals and renovated existing clinics for better health care delivery for indigents of his state. He built and renovated police stations for security of lives and property. Some of his achievements include construction of a befitting governor's office, known as Oshun Tokun Lodge, construction of judges' quarters, construction of legislative quarters for State House of Assembly members, for which he was loudly criticized and accused of building bulletproof houses because he employed the new prefab technology, which at the time was cheaper maintenance-free and safer. One of his major achievements as governor was road construction, linking many communities and local governments together, providing easy access to neighboring states while promoting commerce. This was done with direct labor, creating jobs for indigents. It was under his leadership that the Kugusun Warm Springs Gosi Water was commissioned and remains one of the viable industries in the state. Needless to mention, several water treatment facilities, renovation of primary and secondary schools, and several rural electrification projects. Furthermore, he was able to raise the Ekiti State Government investment profile by buying shares in several blue-chip companies like Union Bank, First Bank, UBA, Ulua Glass, Flour Mills PLC, and Lever Brothers, to mention a few. It is not surprising that in recognition of Otumba's outstanding leadership qualities, he has been honored with several chieftaincy titles by his people. He is the Otumba of Awekiti, Bolawai of Ikolekiti, Are Ajagunla of Itapaikiti, Ashwaju of Ikugusiekiti, Ataishi of Ogotuekiti, Ataishi of Inyekiti, and Are Ataishi of Aduekiti. Highlights of Otumba's career and achievements came in 2011 when he was conferred with one of our country's highest honors, Commander of the Order of the Niger, CON, 
by ex-President Goodluck Jonathan. In addition, he has also been recognized by President Muhammadu Buhari with the post of Chairman of FAN, the Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria. What really defines Otomani Adibaye is what I would call his essence, his commitment to civility, is his passion for excellence, is his loyalty to friendship, and is his sincerity of purpose. Anywhere you go, either in Ekiti or outside Ekiti, these are things that you would consistently hear about him. It's not given to opportunism, it's not given to what Nigerians call eye service. What you see is what you get with him. And um, even when life plays him a hard card, he still comes across positively disposed to humanity. On attaining such a milestone of 60 years, of course, he doesn't look it, he, he doesn't act it, he, but he's the father of all now. He's not just become the father of the, the Adebayo clan. Uh, now that um, General had gone to the great beyond, he, he's also become the father of politics in Ikiti and everybody regardless of their political persuasion, they defer to him because they know that for him, it means well for everybody, it means well for our state, it means well for the country. And uh, I am convinced that even at 60, the best is yet to come for him. We go far back politically to the days of the Alliance for Democracy, when I wanted to be national chairman of the APC, he was one of those I first consulted because I trust his wisdom. I trust his ability to strategize. I trust his loyalty. He tells you the reality as it is from his own wisdom, from his own perception. He is ready to disagree with you. We disagree. We argue. We take different positions. But I respect his views, even when I don't agree with them. He respects my views, even when he doesn't agree with me. And that is what loyalty is all about. That is Otumba Nihi Adebayo. And that is why I value him as a human being up to today. I value his counsel. We have remained close, through thick and thin. He's one of the main people that I rely on to tell me how things truly are. So on his best day, finally becoming a senior citizen, I just want to wish him the very best of luck. May he have reasons for endless thanksgiving. Otumba Ni Adebayo, happy 60th birthday. Otumba Adeni Adebayo, quintessential gentleman, a leader of leaders. We who are related to him by politics are very proud of him. As our flagship from a kitty. And uh, in every sense, as a man that always represents us well. On this occasion of his 60th birthday, he has actually made very solid and indelible contributions to Nigeria and we are very proud of him. I wish him many happy returns. We will celebrate. We have to celebrate. I met him first in 1999 before he was sworn in as governor of Ekiti State. We were pleasantly surprised at uh, his humility, his demeanor. He wasn't even uh, carrying himself as the chief executive of his state. That struck me. How can a state governor be that humble? Utumba is diligent. He's meek. He's humble. But beneath that is a very strong fiber of resilience when he doesn't want to do anything. They can be stubborn. You won't see it. You won't see that streak. 
I wish Otumba a happy 60th uh, birthday. He's 60. In five months' time, I will be 79. In spite of the wide gap difference in our age, I relate with him more than any of my age mate. My reason for relating with Otumba Ni Yadibayo is his character. A man of pedigree. We have a saying in Yoruba that Bibiri Kushifi Owura. You don't buy pedigree. You don't assume pedigree. It's part of you. If Otumba Nia Deba says he's coming at seven, be sure that five to seven, he will be at your gate. That says a lot about somebody's character. So these are some of the things that endears me to him as a younger person. His father was governor of Western region, and he kept the legacy and the heritage of the family by being the first executive governor of a kitty state. And he did well. I wish him everything in life beyond what he wishes himself and beyond everything else that the joy and beauty and showers and blessings of God will continue to rain heavily upon him and his family. Anyone who is familiar with his antecedents, especially the, 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 his family background, we know that it couldn't have been otherwise. I speak as one of his political associates, one of those who look up to him for leadership. I also speak as one of his kinsmen. Uh, we are both from the same hometown. There is no doubt in the fact that I definitely will love him um, in Ekiti and, and all over Ekiti. I also know him to be a religious person. Autobani Adebayo is the Babai Joe of Anglican Church uh, communion, you know, in, in Yekiti. Uh, this is another side of him that a lot of people uh, are not aware of. So, by God's grace, he still has so much to offer, and we we'll continue to pray for him and wish him the very best. When we got to government in 1999, that was virtually nothing. He started using the old car of the former administrator. That was the best car, the uh, 406. A young man becoming a governor. Probably at the age of 42, he should be looking for things of this world, wealth, at the expense of the state. The allocation from federal government was so little, and he was able to successfully manage the finances of the state. At Christmas, the Christmas gift was to everybody, whether you are PDP or, 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 or AD. He, he said, I'm the governor of everybody in the Kitty State. I have a duty to take care of everybody, and so it was. That is the type of government we had. I worked with Otumba as a personal secretary for the period of 1999 to 2003. I worked through, all through with him when he was governor, and I found him to be a very uh, wonderful man, a man that loves his family, I see him as a man that fears God. He's generous, he's kind, Otuma is caring. My prayer is that the longer he lives, the brighter he shines. Me, Adibayo, and I have been together for close to 37 years now, since 1981, when we both went to read law at the University of Lagos. He is a gentleman. He's a well cultivated, he's civilized and a well-cultured man. He's a completely sociable individual. He's plain, he's straightforward, and he's very sincere. All the ingredients with which you can, you can determine a human being as an omolua be in Yoruba land is embedded in the Adibayo. As far as I'm concerned, uh, he remains the best governor Ekiti ever had. I want to wish him a very happy birthday. I wish him many more years ahead. I pray that God in his masses will continue to give him good health. They say there's no perfect life out there. It can be made perfect. And 
having lots of perfect moments and celebrating such moments with friends like you. Unassuming, humble and kind to a fault as we celebrate you today, my friend. I wish you the best in life, long life and many happy moments. You truly deserve it. Congratulations, bro. Otumba, Orawe. Congratulations on your 60th. You don't look a day older than 20, and that's why all of us think of you as the youngest. I know that there's still a lot more to do, and I know that in the service of uh, our Ekiti people and Nigeria, you will still give of your time in making sure that we remain a great nation. Congratulations. He's one of the most incredible people I've ever come across. We used to call him young, young boy Ni. Ni could be in Ibadan or Abuja one minute, Next minute, he called to say, ah, I'm back in Lagos, so, right? This would be at eight, what, midnight or something. By the next morning, if I wake up, 5 a.m., knees already out on the way to Ekiti. He has so much energy, I don't even know where he gets it from. I wish him all the best, more energy for the future, more good health. I say, Ni, welcome to the club. I wish you very long life, healthy life, and more grease to your elbow once again. Happy, happy birthday, Otumba. I've known Otumba Ni Adebayo for probably 40 odd years. At that point, he was known as the youngest, more than the nickname. He is just a fine gentleman. He obviously never joined the army like his uh, father, but he would have made a fantastic officer as well as a gentleman. But one thing I remember very distinctly is when he was governor of Ekiti State. And unlike, well, of course, the pedigree always shone through, but he was a guy who still stayed with his friends and still stayed with his people. But I also remember very vividly an occasion in Abuja in the early days. He was in the lobby of the Hilton and uh, I was making my way towards him to go and uh, pay my respects and say hello. And some of these overzealous uh, security operatives jumped up and tried to block him. And if looks could kill, the stare he gave those guys to actually just knock them into shape and put them right. He may, he will probably never remember, but I remember very vividly. And I said to myself, this is how people of pedigree in public office should behave. People even forget that he was governor of Ekiti State because it was seamless the way he transited from private life to public citizen, back to private life. And I think there's a huge lesson for, and not so young people to learn from the way he's always conducted himself. So Otumba, I wish you a fantastic birthday. You are still the youngest, even though young people are now becoming Otumbas, I lie. You are still the youngest Otumba of our own generation. And uh, we pray that the Almighty will continue to give you the wisdom, the strength, and the humility to continue living the way you've always lived. God bless you. I've known Ni since I was a young man with uh, more hair, different color, and we've both uh, grown up together with our circle of Lagos friends. I'm very, very proud to be one of his circle. He's grown into a fine statesman. We're still expecting a lot more out of him. So Ni, happy birthday. Welcome to the club, but you've got a long, long way to go. Ratumba is a great friend, very loyal person, extremely, extremely fond of his friends, and he goes all out to ensure that people's aspirations are met. He's been a mentor to so many people, including myself. He has done so much in terms of emancipation of human beings, and in terms of also helping people to achieve their own life ambitions. We wish you a wonderful 60th birthday, Ratumba. You will always be our brother, our friend, and our mentor. God bless. Atuba briefly was my senior in primary school in 1968 at the University of Lagos Staff School. I remember vividly, tall, slender guy. Then much later, we, we lived in the same area, four houses away from each other in Modupe Johnson, Crescent, Surrele. And his mom, great woman, was my mom's friend. What I admire about Tuba is his honesty, loyalty, and a very dependable fellow. Very jovial and very truthful. It tells you as it is. 
Dr. Bayer is wishing you a happy 6th birthday, God's blessings, good health, and of course, still waiting for you at the gym. Happy birthday, Dr. Bayer. Uh, myself and Otumba, we've actually known each other for a very, very long time. And he's one of the most dependable friends you can have. In good times, in bad times, Otumba is there. Very reliable, very dependable. If you have somebody like Otumba, you actually don't need a brother. He is as good as somebody who is like a twin brother. So I have a lot of respect for him. Based on my relationship with Otumba, we've come across maybe several issues of which I have never ever for one day in the last over 30 years had any problem or issue with Otumba. So really it's a great day of celebration. I wish Otumba a very, very happy birthday in good health, with long life and God's continued blessings. His Excellency Otumba Niye Adibaya is an icon. He is a heap of the old block, Omar Babeni. The trait of his father, a great nationalist, is in him. It is not surprising that people refer to him as a gentleman. They refer to him, even the old bastard, they refer to him as Omaluabi. He is so well loved, he is very humble to a fault, I will say. He wasn't a flamboyant governor. He is cool-headed and knew very well that the Kitty State is not all that rich. He managed the affairs of the state. I just wish him the best he wishes himself. My friend, my hero, my husband, I wish you happy birthday. I wish you long life, longer life than what we even have already that we're thanking God for. Happy birthday, darling. Happy 60th birthday. Otumba Richard OTB Adeni Adebayo. Adeni Adebayo mo aro lele ati ere ke yoda. O ma tejmo jobi one te o, o tun ka ro mi yoda.